You're already up. Considerable time later, but these things do take time. Uh, knocking up a footing cage, well, times two. One already done. Ready for the pad for the pivot move. Bit of rooting around, but anyway. You only really get one shot at it. Show you a bit more when we get them in and the form work set up hopefully today or tomorrow. Right, another day in the plot of moving that. That is the new spot it shall be relocated to. Uh, had thought that fucking pipe there went under there, but it doesn't. Go down a couple of feet through there. With the backhoe, found the pipe over there, trenched up there, now realising that we don't have to trench up to there because said pipe tees off under there somewhere to come back to the riser for the pivot. That needs to be capped. So rather than having to dig the fucking thing up anyway, which is, that concrete's going to have to be fucked off anyway once it's all moved be able to get rid of the concrete dig that up and um, rather than having to dig that out there and either cap that or cut it further up and join with the T here to go to the new site I'll simply use one of the gibbo fittings on the end of that where the elbow comes up and then we shall continue across there so it will save a fitting and a lot of fucking around potentially. Now onto the next little Pain in the fucking ass. Right. Well, I'd like to say done and ready, but unfortunately, I need to chip out six inches. Across there so that I can move the footing cage across because as you can see the fucking thing doesn't fit lovely and it's virtually up against this side well within reason so I've got zero play and also that is fairly well centered on the peg this side so it's this side that needs to move Yes, it's bigger than what it needs to be, but the intent is put 
1400 litre bulk tank there. Um, tower will be turned around with the pipe going out that end. Motor and everything will remain the same in that corner. And then the generator will just sit here. So rather than having to fill the generator constantly, we'll just fill the bulk tank and plumb that into the generator. So, I'll show you what it's like when we, after I have dug all that fucking shit out by hand. Lovely. Alright, next day. And it is bloody freezing. Right. Got that one chipped out. An extra six inches chipped out of there. But it still wasn't going to be right. Because my peg that was in the middle there was off about an inch or so. I know in the grand scheme of things that's going to make fuck all difference, but when you're a bit anal about where things go and being right, oh, I wasn't going to let it go. So anyway, chipped a bit more out of this one. Another pain in the ass story. Cleaned it all up. Rebar, managed to slip that in, a little bit of difficulty in a couple of spots. So all that basket, well it's now sitting on bricks anyway to get it the correct height which was string lined so that the bolts, footing bolts um, are roughly Close enough to being in the right spots, as in height wise, so the strings part way up the threads. So nothing's too low, nothing's too high. Uh, just finished putting the bar chairs in to make another temporary screed. Four and a half metre job considering it's four metres wide and five metres long. Hoping that Morrell's got the measurements right. I'm sending out six cubes, so we'll see what happens with it. Uh, fingers crossed. This morning, all right, just moving the pivot around a bit. Um, what the intention is to get it 90 degrees to the new pad will be it has a position. There. So what I intend to do, I'm just moving it a bit for now, but um, what I intend to do is run it directly over the top of the new pad eventually, get the position and then I'll um, knock 90 degrees off that and back it up 90 degrees and hopefully that'll get it somewhere squared for when it um, comes time to shift it. So, 
currently just waiting on the truck. Finley were too busy, so he rang Cobram and um, the truck's on its way. So hopefully within an hour or so, that'll all be poured.